Now, does this sorceress look familiar to you? Oh, well, actually, it looks a lot like a sorceress does nowadays, but it's not quite exactly the same. Maybe right here you can notice the little bit subtle difference. Maybe zoomed in a little bit closer now. Now, here's what the old school looked like, and this probably gives away what type of video I'm doing here today. This is what the perfect sorceress used to look like back in the early 2000s. Alrighty, as we jump into it here, just remember I'm doing a ton of this from memory, and also I do a little bit of research, obviously, hopping onto some great websites and finding different information about this. If there's anything at any gear slot that you think I forgot about or that I just overlooked, I can't remember everything, always head down to the comments and kindly let me know what you uh, remember from this time period, the early 2000s of Diablo 2 history. One thing I'm definitely not going to forget to mention, though, the one month of free membership to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform where it has thousands and thousands of videos, whether you're looking to up-level your skills to help out your business or your career, or learning something new just for fun. Now, of course, I love YouTube, but sometimes it's nice to do a complete course straight through without any interruptions. Skillshare is a completely ad-free service. Each week it has thousands of new videos and courses, so there's always something new to learn. And now the entire catalog is available in subtitles in Spanish, Portuguese, and German, and even more. I had a great time watching and learning from Marquis Brownlee, YouTube success course. And another course I've looked into is Real Productivity by Michael Carnage Protcorn. Be more productive can help you with your career, help you get to the gym more often, help you have more time to spend with your kids and with your family. So this one's gonna be mega helpful for my life. The first 1,000 people to use the link down in the description will get one month free trial to Skillshare. Alrighty, it's kind of tough to remember exactly the stats and the skill points the way that I used to do them back in like 2001 or 2 or 3 or whatever it was. But at the way I put them in here, you almost don't have to put any points into strength for this. And I just dumped them all into energy. That's what you would do now if you had these type of skills. I don't remember exactly if they worked precisely the way now as they did then exactly. But that's because energy shield was awesome to use back in the day. And we'll show you right here. I put a ton of points into frozen armor, a ton of points in the warm. And you got to remember back in the day, there weren't synergies at all. So you could just put points into a lot of other stuff. And the way I remember it, you definitely use Nova, Thunderstorm you could max out. And then Thunderstorm and Nova together was just zapping everything down. Now you did so much damage. And also you would rock energy shield. You would rock, rock frozen armor. You didn't have all the synergies you had to put points in, so you could use a lot of other things. Now, this stuff got changed at certain points in different eras. I think it was the 1.10 patch, or maybe it was the, the 09 patch. Can't remember exactly, so this will change a little bit, but Nova back in the day absolutely rocked. Everyone used Nova, would get out into cow games, even full cow games. You would just flash Nova two or three times, all the cows would drop dead. You could not get around the map fast enough to even take out the cows before it was over. Cow games would last 30 seconds max. It would take way longer to go get the leg than it would actually to kill all of the cows. And that's because Nova absolutely crushed. Now, there was a lot of other stuff that worked. They, they were incredibly powerful. Frozen Orb back in the day was used a ton uh, along with Nova. So keep that in mind. I know there's a lot of different builds, but I just remember Nova being absolute insanity on this game back in the early 2000s. Now, the main star of the show, the main purpose of the video, take a look at the gear. This one is not as crazy. What I have on here right here is if you were finding legit gear back in the early 2000s. And I will, of course, have Editor Phil fly in some of the glitch and hacked items that everyone is so nostalgic about and remembers. Most of them do not exist anymore, but they were absolutely crazy overpowered. And we'll go ahead and take a look at some of that stuff. Now, first of all, this does not look that out of the ordinary from a regular sorceress. And some of the gear really isn't. It's been good forever. Take, for instance, on the main hand here, I got an Oculus. Obviously, there's a lot of the same type of stuff, whiz spikes and things like that, that were used back in the day. So we're not going to go over this one too much. I don't particularly remember a lot of variety on the sorcerers here. Kind of the Oculus was the was the go-to for the one back then. You got to remember, there weren't rune words, so you couldn't even have the spirit early on. So whiz spikes uh, were used a ton as well, also, you'd want to get the faster cast rate to get your Novas flashing as fast as possible. Up on the top, once again, a Shaco. If you go back far enough, the Shakos were different, the 08 Shakos, but um, it was still, it was, it's always been a great option, especially for a Sorceress. So up here for the Sorceress, it's pretty much the same type of stuff as now if you throw on a Peasant's Crown early on and then switch to a Shaco or something like that. But Shaco, also 
not particularly the most interesting because I can't think of a way that this was different. These are two spots. Feel free to hit the comments if you can remember anything offhand that was different between these two. They were identical to how they are now. I love Oculus nowadays, and obviously Shaco's used everywhere all the time. Over on the shield, you notice I have a lidless. Now, this is because you couldn't have a spirit shield. There weren't the rune word spirit wasn't added in yet. So lidless was to go to for casters. It's essentially like a half spirit, essentially. But one thing that's great for those energy shield sorceresses, and also the reason why this was good on the Javazan, five to mana after each kill. Now, it also has energy and, and increased mana, uh, but lidless was absolute go-to. There was actually, if you were going more survivability and uh, a little bit more value because it was harder to find. It's not super hard nowadays and now that we play more, but the storm shield, obviously, you're getting the, uh, you know, the, the damage reduction on that and all the safety skills for the storm shield. So that was the one definitely not to sleep on. So this one was a little bit different than nowadays. This is another spot where there wasn't a ton of glitched and hacked type of things. There were if shields, but I ever really only saw those in paladin shields. So uh, I don't really have any other option over here either. Scooting over to the Viper Magi. Having a soul rune in here, I did use this for Immortal Sorceress build I did in the past. Usually this wouldn't necessarily be in it unless it's a super specific build, but Viper Magi, still a great option and still used like all of the time nowadays. So, and it was no difference back in the day. Now you didn't have Enigma and things like that, but Viper Magi used for the same reasons then that it is now. Now we all kind of know that you could obviously throw on like a Tal Rosh. There was actually something called a bugged Tal's armor. Me personally, I never got my hands on one of this. Some of these still exist around. They were from 08. Now, usually I'd say it wasn't necessarily used on a sorceress, but she definitely could. There was actually a bugged Arcane Valor. It did have two to all skills on it, so you could get more skills and just a ton of other different stats on it, whether it's vitality and damage reduction, all different types of other things. So that was one that I could see probably people, if they can get their hands on, throw it on their sorceress as well. Personally, once again, that one was way above my pay grade to be able to get my hands on. Over on the gloves here right now, exactly the same as today, Mage Fist, or you could throw on Triangles, but you, this is the first time where we get very nostalgic. Everyone's going to remember gloves that look exactly like this, but were way crazier. They're actually called Whiz Spike Gloves. Now, they were absolutely bananas. They looked like a Fuse Unique, and I guess they could have been. I don't know the exact history, but more than likely... They were something that people glitched or hacked in some way, and they took the stats from the wizard spike and put them on a glove. Now, with all of that, it makes them so much more powerful than anything like Mage Fist. With all that cast rate, 75 to all res on gloves, that's absolutely bananas. Now, while technically a fuse unique like this could happen, I believe I'm pretty sure that people think that it was actually something that somebody hacked and got onto Battle.net, but... Those gloves were incredibly nostalgic. Everybody loved having those on their sorceress. Now scooching over to rings, looking just like nowadays. We got an SOJ. We've got a faster cast rate ring, a rare one. So similar stuff to today. But if you could get a certain SOJ, you wouldn't find it. You have to trade for it. This is another very nostalgic one. And this time I'm talking about those oxy rings. Now the oxy rings was once again. It appeared to be a few unique where the stats from the oculus would be down on a ring it just said soj but all of the stats were that of the oculus so looking right here this is exactly what was on the ring and if you could get these you would have definitely be wearing two of these on your sorceress no doubt three to skills on a ring three to your sorceress skills on a ring it was bananas cast rate vitality you know all this stuff that's on oculus is just crazy 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 and you would have two of these suckers on so many plus skills is why nova did so much damage, it's why Thunderstorm did so much damage. You definitely would have those suckers down on here, depending on the realm and the air or whatever. There was also called a Constriction Ring that gave you a percent to a maximum resistance. It gave you 100% magic find. So this was a ring that originally was in the game, but it was deactivated, so it would never drop. They must have realized before the game launched, this ring was too crazy to have in the game. But people found it in there. They got it out in one way or another, not exactly sure how, they ported it up and hacked it and got it onto Battle.net. So at certain points in certain eras of Diablo 2, you could get yourself these constriction rings. 
Now looking down at the belt, Gloom Trap is the one I threw on here. Um, I kind of didn't realize until I started researching this video a little bit more that things like Arachnid's Mesh wasn't around yet and things like that. So Gold Wrap, obviously, or something like that. Or throwing on Gloom Trap just to get some vitality, increased mana, regenerate mana, things like that. But uh, there was definitely some bugged items you could throw on here. And by some, it's actually one item, and this is, I've mentioned in other videos, I never get my hand on this one, but it's this bugged Psyguard's Belt. It's got one to all skills. It's got a bunch of stuff on here that wouldn't really help your character out. But then, strength and dex, all res, damage reduction, mana after kill. This belt is crazy that it has so much stuff on it. I don't know. Obviously, just straight up hacked or something. But just getting skills in any way instead of um, on top of this gloom, gloom trap or whatever. So, this Psyguard's belt, I wish I could have got my hands on it back in the day. It is so GG. Hopping over to the boots, we got War Travelers, and yeah, War Travelers were always a great option for the magic find and the strength, vitality, things like that over here on the boots. But the absolute go-to for like almost every character in the entire game back in the day were these Imp Shanks. They were a rare boot that uh, were from 08, but they got duped, duped, duped to Kingdom Come, and everybody had these one particular pair of rare boots that they would trade for the Imp Shanks. They used to be able to get a higher resistance roll on one of the resistances back in the day so they would have almost 50 to lightning uh, resistance which is one of the most important ones that you can get so definitely another legit pair of boots that you could have over here back in the day silk weaves getting more mana and mana after kill for especially the nova build so it would suck down mana you'd kill one of the cows you'd get five from here five from there you get 10 from every cow so your mana would stay up no problem so throwing silk weaves on over there also was a great option and i do i will mention there were some bugged version of War Travelers, one to all skills, and a bunch of other crazy stats on it that Editor Phil will throw a picture up right over here. So yeah, obviously if you get your hands on these crazy insane bugged ones, those are the ones you'd want to use. Now hopping up to the amulet. Uh, I just throw this up here because picture this being like a rare amulet. I've mentioned this also in other videos. Back in the day, you didn't have to be uh, over level 90 of an amulet in order for it to roll with two skills. I think it only had to be like 70 or 80 or something like that. So they all magic and rare amulets you found in hell essentially so hell cows would all be able to roll with two to skills so everybody had magic and rare versions of two to skills amulets so it was not particularly difficult to get something similar to this like a two to ten or something like that just finding it in cows or anywhere else and now of course there is a some sort of glitched version here and i believe it was actually just in old amulet that they found at the original beginning of the game that was absolutely amazing because things rolled a little bit differently that they then duped up a ton and that was called the armageddon fletch here for the sorcerers two to sorcerer skills and actually rare amulets could get 20 fcr originally in the game before they turned that down 18 to strength 55 life and 59 mana 23 to all resistance an absolutely bonkers amulet so this was definitely a go-to for sorcerers if you could get your hands on it there are actually some other ones and it's also crazy enough back in the day you used to be able to get two different characters skills on an amulet so like two to sorceress two to necromancer or something along those lines so there's different rare amulets and options like that that you could use for your sorcerers but generally the go-to for us common folk was just literally any magic or rare amulet you could find two to skill ones everywhere down in the inventory, we got skillers. Definitely, if you get your hands on stuff of that back in the day, the torch and any should not be here. Editor Phil, why don't you go ahead and block that out? And then down here on the small charms, uh, the same similar type of stuff that I have here, but back in the day, there definitely could be glitched and hacked charms you could throw down here. First of all, the one that I talk about in all these, because if you could get them, you wanted to have them everywhere, and that is hex charms. 90 of strength, 90 dex, 90 vitality down here. You could fill this whole sucker up down here and be essentially invincible. Obviously, in cows, they couldn't touch you. But there was also a mana version. So you would have 90 strength of dex, but it would be energy instead of vitality. And you could fill these up down here. It'd be absolutely crazy. If you wanted something that at least kind of seemed a little bit more legit, there were actually some old school bugged small charms that would be 72 mana along with some life on it. So those are a crazy total that in subsequent patches, got turned down so you can't get 70 to mana on a small charm but you could get a bunch of those because obviously people had some of them and as you could assume they duped the living crap out of them and then got them out there so that is another option if not for the hex charms you have down there for a hacked small charm well there you go looks pretty similar to nowadays with a few exceptions and those crazy hacked and stuff items like that remember head down in the comments and let me know anything you think i forgot and missed 
Big thanks to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Don't forget, link in the description and a pinned comment. If you want to get that free gift, it's a free month to sign up for Skillshare. You can try it out risk-free. So peace out, fellas, and don't forget, keep slaying.